Hello, this is Lucas Abotal from Satellite Engineering and in this short video I'd like to show you how to sync and uh, provision a RHEL 8 uh, from Satellite 6.5 or older. So in order to be able to um, um, install uh, Red Enterprise Linux 8 um, a new set of repositories must be enabled And that is Red Enterprise Linux 8, x86-64 is the architecture of my choice. Base OS Kickstart 8.0, 8 8.1 or 8.2 is the current version of the stable branch. Um, not the 8, there's also 8 without any dot zero. That one is, uh, was, was, was put into the uh, you know subscriptions by error I think uh, so don't use that one so in my case I have uh, 8.0 here and I search this uh, using the label here enable that and then on the sync status page I actually you know check these guys and, and sync them All right so we have these base OS and F stream base OS the one is the one that we want to use uh, and then now in the hosts and create host I'll create a new uh, host um, within my organization location I won't use any uh, host group here so lifecycle is library I'll be using default uh, organization view not using puppet not using uh, ansible here x64 x8664 as you synchronize um, official uh, Enterprise Linux repositories, new operating system will be created using this form. This is um, actually uh, name of the operating system as reported by Puppet. So that's why it's kind of weird and there's a red hat without a space. So I want this sync content to be checked. You know, the, the major difference between the sync content and all media if, if I have sync content, I'm actually selecting a um, um, repository that is uh, of a kickstart type from from all available repositories within this content view, which is now here. It's the base, base OS kickstart 8.0. If I switch to all media, then this would uh, and this not it's not available because uh, I have selected a content view lifecycle environment content source here. Uh, if I have some kind of a custom repository, I can create custom custom repositories here, or even installation media that is completely outside of of uh, Red Hat Satellite's control or content management. I'd use all media and then I'd pick uh, installation media from there. Uh, we have a installation media here screen. Uh, there's a screen here which you can define URLs with some variables uh, and the URLs uh, and these would be used so in my case I want the sync content and then selecting sync content here partition table disk uh, enter some root password and this is bare metal so I'll use Jesus to domain subnet and okay and no public classes no parameters no additional informations so that's that's how you create a right at express linux 8 kickstart file so the the, the system is ready to be provisioned right away it's been configured with pixel linux bios uh, pixie bootloader so I can turn the system on and start uh, kickstarting okay um, next time